We are examining an average of 20,000 patients per year, many of whom have elastography performed. Generally, we are differentiating three different kinds of elastography. The first being the standard compression elastography, where you manually compress the tissue using a transducer. The stiffness of the tissue is being coated in different colors or in black and white. The second form of elastography is virtual touch imaging, which electronically compresses the tissue by using a transducer with the help of a strong sound impulse, and due to the different stiffness of tissue, it will be displayed either in black and white or in color. Next to the qualitative assessment, there is a quantitative assessment. This is a different principle. The transducer transmits a strong sound push pulse into the tissue followed by a measurement of how fast the shear waves are propagating laterally. The propagation of the shear waves is dependent on tissue stiffness. The stiffer or harder the tissue, the faster the propagation of the lateral sound waves, the higher the velocity, which will be measured in meters per second. The softer the tissue, the more slowly the propagation of these waves. The advantages of virtual touch quantification could be demonstrated in several studies. These correlated the results of the liver biopsies with the results of using virtual touch quantification. The studies demonstrated a good correlation of the stiffness measured in meters per second and the histological degree of mutation of the liver tissue. Virtual touch imaging and virtual touch quantification can be used in the abdominal area to assess the parenchymal organs, but the technology can also be used for the assessment of small parts organs, such as the thyroid and breasts. The introduction of the new technologies allows us to acquire image information that wasn't available before. In other words, the stiffness measurement of the liver allows us to determine whether there are already parenchymal changes in the liver tissue or not. Thank you.